to my channel hope you guys are doing great today I'm going to be showing you how to predict the next candlestick using candlestick psychology and pure price action but it takes a second to like a video I would advise you just click the like button if it's your first time you can hit subscribe okay so today we'll be looking at USDJPY so I think the market has traded down and now it's moving higher I would like to see the market continue higher and drop down to that level sorry drop down to this level and then it can continue higher if it wants or maybe if sellers are more strong the market could come down okay so having said that I marked out some levels in the past so I'm gonna use these levels to break the market movement in the terms of support and resistance. Okay, so you can see now the market is at one of the levels. Let's get to see the candle is gonna form there, and I'll place my trade on the next candle. We are not seeing any movement yet. Okay, I had a pretty much uh, weak green candlestick there. Very weak. Uh, we don't know if the market is actually going up again or will it be coming down from that level so patience is a very important thing in this market you have to learn so most of the time if you don't understand what the market is telling you you can apply patience or change the chart so i'm going to wait for the next candle on that pair i'm going to wait to see the next candle here while i look for a good market Another dodgy candlestick week. I'll go with sellers. I place a lower option here because buyers failed to take the market higher, and once again they failed. I has I I had a dodgy candlestick, so I guess we're gonna get a strong red candlestick there. Hopefully, we're gonna get the strong red candle because buyers has failed to continue the market in the uptrend okay let's see the close of this candle Okay, awesome. That was a good ITM. Sellers came in strongly. And now the market is at another important level. So let's see the reaction of the market. I'll place my trade on the next candle. We are getting a strong bias entry from that line. The two candles are Maribuzu candlestick. Okay, I'll go with a lot of option there. Yeah. I place a lot of option here because of this strong sellers entry that came down shows that the market is not ready to continue to go higher so I want to see the market start coming down so I'm expecting sellers to 
bring the market one more time and the market should start dropping down I want to take the green candle there as a retracement candlestick so I want to see sellers start trading down okay let's see the close of this candle Okay, that was a OTM. Sorry, that was an ATM. No win, no loss. We had a dodgy candlestick on that candle. Okay, I think I can wait for the next candle before I play the next trade. I don't know if this market wants to go into consolidation. But let's see. I guess sellers might be coming in now. So I'll take my trade on the next candle. Okay, good sell last entry. I'll go with the lower option. I placed the lower option here because after this week and I think that was a retracement, sellers entered strongly and now I guess sellers may be coming down to start trading taking the market lower. Okay, let's see the close of this candle. Wonderful. We still had another ATM. I guess I should change this chart. Let me look for a better market. The market is not good. When you keep on seeing dodgy candlesticks like that in the market, it's better you change the change the chart. Okay, looking at this one, I guess this one is more preferable than the previous one. So it's an uptrend. Buyers are coming in can't find any level okay I'll go with the higher option I place the higher option here because of this strong bias entry and the retracement candle and buyers continued strongly so I guess the market will still go up again for one minute buyers are going to take the market higher because of the good continuation candle of the uptrend okay let's see the close of the scandal Okay, we have a few seconds more, but I guess there are some levels here. I think that's a level. Okay. Ok, 
okay we are getting a very weak bias entry after the market cross the level you can see strong rejections in the market and some signs from sellers Okay, I'll go with the lower option here. I place a lower option here because of no new high in the market and this uptrend we saw strong rejections from sellers on the previous candle. Since we had no new high, the next candle might probably be a red candle because I saw so many reactions from sellers on the previous candle okay let's see the close of this candle I lost that trade. Um, bias continued the market. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Maybe the market is still strong in the uptrend. So this was the first trade. I took a lower option here because of weakness in bias to take the market higher. And sellers came in strongly after the dodgy candlestick. And here. After this retracement candle, I took a lower option for the market to drop down, but we had a dodgy candlestick there. The same thing here, I followed sellers again and we had a dodgy candlestick. So here I followed buyers because of the good continuation candle on the previous candle. After this retracement, buyers came in strongly and here. Because of that weak candlestick, after the breakout, I took a lower option, but bias pushed the market more strongly. Okay, so I guess I should stop here for today. I'll come back next time for a better market. This one, we are seeing long weeks in the market. We don't know if the market might be going into consolidation too. So it's all good i'll stop here and continue next time so if you find this video insightful do have to hit the like button if it's the first time subscribe if you want to learn more on how to trade you can contact me my contact details are below so next time i wish you all good luck good trading